It's Grand National Day on Merseyside and Everton have nine very big fences of their own to negotiate as they strive to reach the final few furlongs of this Premier League season with at least three clubs trailing behind them. Today's hurdle is Manchester United. A massive game whenever they're in town, but it's clear today's is even bigger given Everton's current predicaments. The Blues' need of three points can't be understated, and following defeat at Burnley on Wednesday, Frank Lampard's side are determined to deliver. There is a need to deliver, and the fans are certainly up for it. A cracking atmosphere here to spur the home side on. Well, Frank Lampard makes four changes from Wednesday night. John Joe Kenny, Jared Branthwaite, Mason Holgate and Adelaide Decore all drop to the bench. Captain Seamus Coleman returns from illness. Michael Keane and Alan are both back after completing suspensions. And Fabian Delph is fit and starts for the first time since December the 12th at Crystal Palace. We now pay tribute to Terry Garricutt, the man who served Everton for 13 years as a player and five as a coach under Harold Kendall and Colin Harvey in the 1980s. Terry sadly passed away last month. We remember Terry with a few of applause which starts and ends on the referee's whistle. We are just about set. Jonathan Moss checks with his assistants, and away we go. Everton's third game in the space of seven days, and the importance of this one clear for us all to see. Just short of three years since Everton got the better of Manchester United. Can they do it today and pick up a massive three points? a foul on Manchester United's Alex Tellers. Fernandes has it. Fernandes lifts it in and Lindelof is there to head across goal. Delft gets it away and it's battered back in and saved. Rashford had the effort and Pickford equal to it with a decent save. Half cleared by Delft but Running into the path of Rashford, first time strike from the England international was saved by Everton's number one. Ronaldo again. Delivery in towards Rashford, good save again, Jordan Pickford. That was a smart header from Rashford and an equally good save. Pickford coming good here for Everton. And how? to dwell in possession. He's proved there by Matic, here's Anthony Gordon for Everton. Just too far ahead of Richarlison, he still has it, driven wide though. Richarlison. Pull back, Gordon will get a shot away, it's deflected in! Everton are in front! Anthony Gordon! What a big goal that could be! Everton's first real strike on target in the game. Their first effort on goal. It results in an effort finding the back of the nets for Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon! His fourth of the season. And wow. It's a big and all right. Ball and it's a free kick for Everton here. Tails up now. Matic complains. And Gordon to take this free kick for Everton. And there's the header just wide from Keane. Not too far away. Got there first over the crossbar. Pickford bangs that one long, brilliantly brought down by Richarlison. De Gea was off his line. Oh, and De Gea makes the save in the end as he was backpedalling and the ball deflected up from Richarlison's shot. 
that was goal bound as well. Not Maguire and maybe Lindelof on the touch from De Gea denies Everton a second. Everton almost two up. Gordon. Half time at Goodison Park. So far, so good. Everton won. Manchester United nil. Second half here at Goodison Park, but Everton will be wary and knowledgeable of the fact that Manchester United have scored in every single away game they have played this season. Here's Pogba who came on in the first half as a replacement for Fred. Bruno Fernandes goes long, he's dangerous as well. Ashford coming in on it, almost got a touch. What a ball that was from Bruno Fernandes. Saw the run of Marcus Rashford. Here's Mikalenko. Can't get past one Bissaka that time. Is that a corner? Yes. More good work from Vitaly Mikalenko. And United are on the back foot again. Eight minutes into this second half. That's Godfrey over the crossbar from Ben Godfrey. Found by the Anthony Gordon corner kick. Found a bit of space there, Ben Godfrey, and still in search of that first Everton goal. Maguire. He's given that to Everton. Gordon, well won back by Everton. Chance here for Everton. Cut back and cut out by Wambasaka before it was heading through to Richarlison. Everton close to a second, which would surely seal the game. Here's Alan battling to win it for Everton. Now we will be. Calvert Lewin trying to get in behind. Might have been offside. This was the chance earlier. Cut back. Ronaldo, Pogba is going to go for goal, and Pickford is right behind it, and held on to it well. It's a good strike by Paul Pogba, and it was a good save. And he's been right on it today, Jordan Pickford. Got down smartly and made sure that it wasn't escaping from his grasp. Maguire. Sancho. Sancho's having a run at Gordon. Sancho's ball back, wan great block, Damari Gray and co. And then Pickford holds on to it. Well, it looked for a moment as though wan would get that effort on target, but it was brilliant defending once more from Everton. Bodies on the line here. Damari Gray, superb. Glum-looking Manchester United fans. Goodison Park. There's the Evertonians in full voice. Tellez. There's the ball into the Everton penalty area. Had to doubt. Ronaldo. And Pickford, brilliant. An instinctive save from an instinctive shot, too, from Cristiano Ronaldo. Who's appealing for handball somewhere? Ronaldo. And the instinctive save was from the, the knee here, I think. Of, no, it's the arm of Jordan Pickford. Good save. That is the final whistle. Everton have done it. It's three massive Premier League points in their quest for survival. What a result on Grand National Day. Frank Lampard has backed a winner. Everton are still in the biggest race of their lives. That is Premier League survival, of course. But they have beaten Manchester United thanks to Anthony Gordon's goal and Jordan Pickford's saves. Superb. Everton won. Manchester United nil.